just be present and enjoy your time and what you're doing and who you're around and have a good weekend oh my gosh look yum corn yeah i chose a bad spot again whatever boneless mild I'm upset about because I usually say original hot. I don't know why my mind blanked and I was just like <gasps> mild. I got so much food. Wow. Cheese fries. Five bone in lemon pepper and five bone in Parmesan garlic. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so much food. Foodie. Alright, so yeah, I got wings stop. What's up, guys? Happy Saturday. 15 wings in total, 10 bone in, 5 boneless, some corn, and some fries. This is a lot, so I'm going to eat what I can. And I got one ranch and a blue cheese. I'm gonna start off with, oh my gosh, thank the Lord. They gave me all flats. That's love. I didn't even ask for all flats and flats are my favorite. Parmesan garlic and blue cheese. They're super fresh. They literally just came out. I don't, um, like clean, clean the bone because I don't like the gristle, but pretty good. I'm gonna try lemon pepper and oh that is hot maybe not they're scorching yeah a lemon pepper and ranch mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I know it's cold outside. This bone is burning my fingers. So I have the sniffles. I'll try to edit all of them out though. <laughs> wow. Their lemon pepper, I love it. Okay, let's try a mild. I always get original hot. I don't know what I was thinking because I love buffalo sauce. Yeah. I'm mad at myself for that. Definitely not as good. Have some of these cheese fries. I wish, or maybe you can request it. I don't know. I wish their fries were crispier and less sweet. 
do, does anybody think they put sugar on their fries, like a little bit? I really don't like the sweetness of them. I thought the cheese would mask it, but... They're still sweet. And I'm like in a really busy place right now, so... For one, sorry if I'm awkward. And secondly, Sorry if there's a lot of car noise because there's many cars passing by. And it's during lunch hour. I don't know why I chose to do this right now. And look, there's like no sauce on these. This was a mistake for sure. Let's get into a corn. If you've never had their corn, it is bomb. So seasoned. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. They're crazy, so. They are a little bit spicy, but worth it. Mm. I love their lemon pepper. I wanted to talk about this book that I'm reading. It's so hot in here right now. The book is by Eckhart Tolle. And it's called The Power of Now. I recommend everyone reads this book. Oh my hell, how did that happen? Sorry to curse, I don't even cuss. I don't know how I spelled that, but okay. Um, so basically, person was digging in their nose, ew. Um. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. I grabbed a fork. Why am I using my freaking fingers? Basically, the title kind of finish a sentence, Bella. Um, the title kind of explains it. Okay, let me get my mind right. What am I doing? This just has water in it. I forgot to ask for a drink. So the power of now. The title basically says it all. Um, living in the present moment. Um, and how that... Um, helps you on your way to like enlightenment
and something he calls the unmanifested. Um, I literally, I'm almost done with it. I have like one more chapter. But literally, so much of the stuff he says, you'll think like, I don't understand, but at the same time, I get it. Like, wow, duh. Like, just being present and living in the present moment, living in the now, just brings so much more happiness and peace in your life, you know? And he even said in the book, like, this is not something to understand. Like, there's no understanding it. It's just something that you, when you get it, you get it. And when you decide to change, you'll change. And, um... I'm digging these lemon peppers. The apartment on Garlic isn't that good. Honestly, the, one of the girls working in there, there was only two ladies in there. One of them, I think she was new. She seemed new, and I'm pretty sure she made those. And they're not that good. So, yeah. This book just says... Huh. You know, humans are big thinkers. We're constantly using our minds and being in our minds and just thinking about or worrying about the future and um, worrying about the future or what was the word? I was going to use basically being stuck in the past and like what good does that do for you you know it just brings constant stress or drama when really every the only, the most important, the most important thing, the most important moment is the moment you're in right now. Like, nothing else is that deep, you know? And people ask, like, well, like, what about all the problems? Like, what about death and like yada yada like can you not be sad if you're enlightened are you not sad by deaths and all the bad stuff happening and it's not that it's just that you're at peace with with whatever it is like you're not letting it affect the rest of your life and literally this book is like life changing to me it's like I feel like I already knew but just like wow like it was kind of like a duh or like an aha moment or it's like literally and there are happy memories in the past and he he's not saying forget about them just only bring them out when it's useful to you or when you need them you know rather than the word the word i was looking for is dwelling Rather than like dwelling on all the bad or negative things that have happened to you in your life. Which only allows you 
to stay in sadness. You know? You're only sad because that's what you're telling yourself. And you guys, not to like really put my business out there, but I went through the worst breakup of my life at the end of December before Christmas. Like literally, I was the saddest I've ever been in my life. I've never felt that way before. And it's only been, it hasn't even been two months. And I'm not saying I'm over it in any way because I'm not. I do find myself thinking about it. I'm being sad. I don't cry anymore though. Thank goodness, I was a freaking wreck. The first few weeks. Crying literally every day. like multiple times a day but why was i telling you this oh i don't know how or why but after i started reading this book and just knowing like literally the present moment is all that matters right now. Like, right now, where I am now, is all that matters right now. I've literally had so many moments where I've just felt, like, completely at peace with who I am, where I am, my current situation. I don't really know how to explain it. I just felt like... I don't know if this lighting is good either. I'm so sorry. I suck at YouTube. But, um, just like an overwhelming feeling of like peace and gratitude. And that, like, I just felt light and free and relaxed. And even though I. I don't know I want to I don't know if I want to say I'm currently but even though I was in a state of like to me genuine like real sadness like heartbreak and hurt and whatever even though I was in that state I was still able to just feel peace to just be in the present moment and know that no matter what, I'm gonna be okay. You know, I've always been okay. I mean, to say that, what I mean is we all have our stuff. How did I break my nail? We all have our stuff, we all go through things, but everything happens in, he explained this in the book too, everything happens in cycles, I don't know if he said cycles, but you know, there's always going to be really good moments, and then there's going to be some moments that aren't so good, and this is just a continuous cycle, it's life, things are going to come about, things are going to happen. But to see that you always make it through, that you're still alive, you know, you can do it, you can get through it. It just feels so good to know that, you know? And so really,
That's the one thing I hate about corn. It really gets stuck in my teeth. Really, really recommend that book. You know, you're going to be stuck in the same cycles if you're allowing yourself to be sad about the past or constantly thinking about the past. You'll never, you'll never be able to be at peace with yourself and with life. If you're constantly worried about time, and that's how he put it, time is the past and the future. If we're worrying about time, we're not in the present moment because we're thinking about what we need to do next week, where I want to be in five years, you know, that breakup really messed me up two months ago, you know, if we're always thinking about everything but where we're at now how can we feel good how can we be happy i really believe that and actually it's taken me like a month to read it i've read a couple chapters here and there but i found myself like one of the examples was thinking about my breakup or my, my past relationship and like always getting really sad. But then as soon as I realized that my mind is not in the present moment, I switch it off. No more thinking about what what does it do? It does no good for me. It makes me sad, makes me upset. So why put it in my mind? I was so hungry. I'm really, really hot. Actually spicy. I don't remember them being this spicy. Because none of my wings today are spicy. I'm going to give these to one of my family members. Am I full? Ooh. That could be a sign. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quick. Yeah, guys, so thanks for watching. I do recommend that book. I hope you do read it. Just remember that your happiest moments are right now, currently, in your current situation. That's when you're going to be most at peace, is when you're living in the present moment, not worrying about time, the past, and the future. You know, if you think about it, nothing is that deep. Like, honestly, we all know that we're here for a certain amount of time. We don't know how long that time is, but we all know that there is an end to our physical body. We all do pass eventually. So... Just be present and enjoy your time. 
and what you're doing and who you're around. And have a good weekend. See you next time.